Hi there. Welcome to MJFengShui.com. I am so glad that you joined me today. Subscribe to the channel, press the like button, and make sure to check out what is going on underneath the video. There are many links for you to check out today. Today's video is for the August haircuts uh, in 2024. And the best days are the red dates, okay? The black uh, dates are the ones that um, we don't want to do anything with our hair on those days. If you check on all the dates that are here and available, you can check out which ones you would like to add to your life, okay? And what ones you really want to avoid having happen to you or your loved ones, okay? So I um, am uploading this a few days, you know, early. So you can, you know, prepare um, if you go to the hairdresser or if you style your hair on your own. This includes, you know, um, a haircut, uh, hair coloring, right, hair extensions, maybe going to have hair surgery, all of those things that you would normally be doing with your hair, okay? Um, now, looking at the dates, all right, checking out the red dates for the month, we do have a lot. So that's pretty awesome in itself. Um, I don't know if you are aware or not. We are um, going to have Mercury retrograde this month. And I made a video on the channel for that. There's also the um, August um, Flying Stars video. That's up and ready for you as well. And I'm going to be uploading a few more. Um, on subjects that we haven't covered yet on this channel. I would love to have you engage in my Facebook group and start asking your questions, posting your comments, you know, um, engaging in the feng shui. Feng shui is energy and you are energy and your hair is energy as well, all right? So set your um, appointments according to the uh, best days here, okay, you can see the big red arrow on the screen, okay, and then when you do that, okay, check it out underneath the video and see what's available on the website right now. I will be adding some new products and also to let you know that I am here for you. You can ask your questions underneath the video. I will respond to you as soon as I receive those messages in my inboxes, all right? Um, on the website, you will find my uh, contact information uh, where we can talk, you know, back and forth privately if you are a private person, all right? And you, you know, don't like to ask questions or share uh, what's going on in your life, okay, openly, all right? A lot of people love to share their pain online um, and we're going to be shifting out of that story okay by using the correct feng shui for you all right every one of us has a different element we have a different vibration we have different you know um, numbers that we go by okay uh, birth dates you know zodiac signs they all are a part of you. Every part of you has a different energy, all right? If you think about it, think about every part of you. It's a different energy, okay? And your energy can change from one minute to the next. You can go from very happy to not so happy instantly, but the choice is yours, all right? How do you want to feel today? That's my question for you. How do you want to look in August? How do you want to be blessed in August, right? What would you be doing differently, all right, in your life? How would you be acting and thinking and dressing? This is what Feng Shui is all about, believe it or not. It's not just about arranging furniture, setting up Feng Shui cures, 
you know, and, you know, moving in the right home, you know, um, for you. It's all about every part of our lives, okay? So some people watching right now, checking out the dates, um, I'll let it run for a few more minutes here for you. But I want you to think about what you would love to experience in your life starting today, starting right now at this moment in time, all right? What is going on in your life, all right, can shift. And I've seen it shift within moments, a couple hours, right? Um, sometimes it's a couple days, sometimes it's a couple weeks, sometimes it's a couple months. But I am looking at the future, not at the past, not even at the present moment, because the moment is gone. It's just flowing away. So I'm looking at how would I like to have my future, all right, looking for me. What is going on in your life right now that you would like to um, recreate, all right? That's where we're going from now on. We're going into what would we rather experience and how are we going to get there if we're still stuck, right? I am here as a feng shui master, a intuitive healer, a teacher, okay? Um and a leader, all right? I lead my groups of people into the next stages of their life, all right? So I have seen people go from homeless to making an uh, incredible living, okay? I've seen people separated for 20 years. We cleared a couple things. We did some energy work in their home, and all of a sudden, their loved one returns. The relationship is healed. People that, you know, were uh, ready to move, all right, and couldn't find the place to move. We did some things, and, you know, all of a sudden, they found the right place to move. It was better than the place that they were looking at, and they kept getting turned down, you know, and they had all this good information about themselves. And nothing was working for them. How many of you have that story going on right now? Nothing ever works for me. All right. Delete that story and come and get a consultation with me. See what happens for you. I know what happened for me when I found Feng Shui. All right. I was, you know, brought up in a home where, you know, there was a desperate energy a lot of times, a lot of anger and frustration and abuse physically, mentally, and spiritually. Um, you know, it was a awful, um, time. Okay. And I had really no friends, um, at this one point and we were in this home, uh, that we had moved into and there was one room that was empty and it had a red rug in it. Right. And we used to go in that room and we would, you know, do, um, our tumble salts and things like that. Cause you could. And we were in my room one night, my sister and I, she's in heaven now, and we saw a ghost in that room, all right? So we had experiences uh, anyway with our, you know, during our life and moving so much when we would see these characters, you know, appear or things would happen that, you know, there was no explanation for these certain things happening. Also, you know, um, there was just a lot of um, problems with finances and struggle. There's a lot of struggle. I remember it. And um, I uh, was in my room one day and I had this metal yellow bed. And um, I painted it yellow because it was all chipping and everything. And that's all the paint I could find in the home. So I painted the bed with whatever paint, probably for a wall, whatever. And then. I took Christmas lights and I strung, a, strung them around the bed and I plugged them in and I was in my room all sad and I'd write poetry and just listen to whatever radio station was on, a lot of sad music was on. So I was depressed, you know, living in that kind of energy all my life and being accused of things that I never did and being beaten up and all, oh, it was just not fun. And 
somehow, you know, I managed to, you know, have a nice um, room. And so when I lit up the lights and everything, it wasn't even a couple days later. All of a sudden, like my sisters wanted to um, have my bedroom. I started um, getting friends that wanted to come over. So adding the fire, you know, adding the fire into my room uh, just did some feng shui for me. So sometimes it's a certain element that is missing in one of your rooms. And that could be right where you're having the issue, okay, in your life. So we were on to really remedy these things, but we cannot remedy them until we find out what's going on in your life, all right, in your home, what's missing, all right, what's in the wrong places, what can we do to help you and support you, you know, um, so a consultation is open for you, all right, and let's do that, let's experience something better, something new, all right, maybe a new um, friend, maybe a new date, you know, maybe a life partner, maybe your family member can come back, maybe a new opportunity for you, maybe new clients, how about a new, you know, job for you, a better place to live, how about your house sells, all right, real quickly, right, yeah, so how about the money coming in so you can buy a new home, all right, or a new car, you know, new clothing, all right? We struggled with clothing problems when I was a kid. I wanted Jordache jeans. They were $40, right? My mom said, there's four of you here. Uh, I only have $100 for each child. Now, we had to have our school clothes, right? We had to have gym clothes. We had to have sneakers and shoes, right? And $100, even though it was back in the day, did not go very far. So I had a summer job. Uh, they offered to, you know, young teenagers. And you'd work part-time, and they'd give you a little job. Well, my first one was in a park, right? I had to sit at a picnic table, sit at a park. Um, there was projects right there. And, you know, wait for kids to come out that wanted to, you know, sit at the picnic table with me and color or cut out things and, you know, make different crafts. So I was learning to be creative and to make a small living. So I figured it would take me two weeks to be able to afford a pair of, you know, the Jordache jeans because they were the in thing right then. And, you know, I would feel better if I had better clothes because the clothes that I had were falling down, you know what I mean? Uh, Hand-me-downs and things like this. And I was tired of that. So, you know, always when I was even growing up, I was breaking myself free from that poverty mindset and, you know, raising my vibration whatever way I could. And look at what I'm doing now, right? I'm raising your vibration now, helping you out of the struggle. So I want to let you know that that is available for you. So let me know what has been happening in your life and what you would like support with, okay? And catch all my videos. Go check out all the videos on the channel if you haven't done so yet. And how you can do that is underneath the video, you'll see my name and just click on it, all right? And it will come up with all the videos. Watch the videos and get your vibration up, all right? This one here is just for your haircuts. And, um, you know, make sure that you write down the dates um, right now while you're here. You can stop the video and you can write down the dates which have the best blessings for you that you want to add in your life. What I share on this channel is sometimes I see back-to-back -back dates and I said I would like both of them. So if it's time for my haircut, I cut my own. I will say, okay, so on this day here, I'll cut my front of my hair. And on the next day, I'll cut the back of my hair. You can do that too. All right. Um, so this is a great thing to do. You can go get your, you know, say your hair cut on a certain day and then make a different day to go get your hair, you know, colored or, you know, maybe get a permanent, whatever. You can do that as well. So think about how 
you can raise your crown chakra vibration, okay? Um, do what you have to do right now to change your countenance. That's your face. So smile right now, no matter what you feel like, no matter what. I want you to just smile right now, wherever you are, because I want you to have joy in your life. I want you to receive more joy. How much joy can you handle? I want you to have more of that. I even want you to have more joy than that. And I want you to say right now, I receive the joy. We all need joy right now. We all are receiving joy right now. Everyone listening, everyone in your household, including your animals, I'm sending that healing energy right now into you and through you and through your entire space right now. So receive it and let me know how you're feeling right now. How are you feeling right now? Put it underneath the video. How are you feeling before the video? And how are you feeling right now? Just by smiling. Just by smiling. Even if you were crying before, even if you came on here frustrated, angry, just going through scrolling on videos and you just said, I'll check this one out. Right? You stopped because the universe stopped you to get your joy. Okay? How much joy can you handle? Come and have a consultation with me. I'll show you how your life can become just a joyous occasion. A joyous occasion. That's what we're looking for. We want a change. And we want it now. And that's how we are, right? So, you know, let's have that. Just simply go to my website right now. Check out everything that's there. Go slow. Take your time. And find that missing link in your life. And let's see what happens for you. Thank you so much. Enjoy the journey. Namaste.